As I noted in my introduction to the complete Obama timeline, the jury at a murder trial will often find the accumulated circumstantial evidence so overwhelming that a guilty verdict is obvious, even though there may be no witness to the crime. The jurors in the Scott Peterson trial believe the collection of evidence more than they believe Scott Peterson. Among other things, the jury thought that being arrested with 15,000 in cash, recently dyed hair, a newly grown goatee, four cell phones, camping equipment, a map to a new girlfriend's house, a gun, and his brother's driver's license certainly did not paint a picture of a grieving husband who had nothing to do with his pregnant wife's disappearance and murder. In the years I have been gathering information about and evidence against Barack Hussein Obama, I have encountered hundreds of coincidences that strike me as amazing. None of those coincidences by themselves might mean much, but taken as a whole, it is almost impossible to believe they were all the result of chance. Consider these Obama-related coincidences. Obama just happened to know the 1960s far-left revolutionary William Ayers, whose father just happened to be Thomas Ayers, who just happened to be a close friend of Obama's communist mentor, Frank Marshall Davis, who just happened to work at the communist sympathizing newspaper, The Chicago Defender, with Vernon Jarrett, who just happened to later become the father-in-law of Iranian-born leftist Valerie Jarrett, who Obama just happened to choose as his closest White House advisor, and who just happened to have been CEO of Habitat Company, which just happened to manage public housing in Chicago, which just happened to get millions of dollars from the Illinois State Legislature, and which just happened to not properly maintain the housing which eventually just happened to require total demolition. Valerie Jarrett also just happened to work for the city of Chicago and just happened to hire Michelle LeVon Robinson, later Mrs. Obama, who just happened to have worked at the Sidley Austin law firm where former fugitive from the FBI Bernardine Dorn also just happened to work and where Barack Obama just happened to get a summer job. Jarrett also just happened to follow Obama as a member of the board of the Joyce Foundation where she served with Michael Brewer who just happens to be married to Janet Brown, who just happens to be executive director of the Commission on Presidential Debates, which just happened to select four leftist members of mainstream media to moderate the 2012 presidential and vice presidential debates. Bernardine Dorn just happened to be married to William Ayers, with whom she just happened to have hid from the FBI at a San Francisco marina, along with Donald Warden, who just happened to change his name to Khalid Al-Mansur, and Warden Al-Mansur, just happened to be a mentor of Black Panther Party founders Huey Newton and Bobby Seale, and a close associate of Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan. And Al Mansour just happened to be financial advisor to a Saudi prince who just happened to donate cash to Harvard, for which Obama just happened to get a critical letter of recommendation from Percy Sutton, who just happened to have been the attorney for Malcolm X, who just happened to know Kenyan politician Tom Maboya, who just happened to be a close friend of Barack Hussein Obama Sr., who just happened to meet Malcolm X when he traveled to Kenya. Obama Sr. just happened to have his education at the University of Hawaii, paid for by the Laubach Literacy Institute, which just happened to have been supported by Elizabeth Mooney Kirk, who just happened to be a friend of Malcolm X, who just happened to have been associated with the Nation of Islam, which was later headed by Louis Farrakhan, who just happens to live very close to Obama's Chicago mansion, which also just happens to be located very close to the residence of William Ayers and Bernadine Dorn, who just happen to have been occasional babysitters for Malia and Natasha Obama, whose parents just happen not to mind exposing their daughters to bomb-making communists. After attending Occidental College and Columbia University, where he just happened to have foreign Muslim roommates, Obama moved to Chicago to work for the Industrial Areas Foundation, an organization that just happened to have been founded by Marxist and radical agitator Saul Alinsky, author of Rules for Radicals, who just happened to be the topic of Hillary Rodham's thesis at Wellesley College, and Obama's salary at IAF just happened to be funded by a grant from the Woods Fund, which was founded by the Woods family, whose Sahara Coal Company just happened to provide coal to Commonwealth Edison, whose CEO just happened to be Thomas Ayers, whose son William Ayers just happened to serve on the board of the Woods Fund along with Obama. Obama also worked on voter registration drives in Chicago in the 1980s and just happened to work with leftist political groups like the Democratic Socialists of America and Socialist International, through which Obama met Carl Davidson, 
who just happened to travel to Cuba during the Vietnam War to sabotage the U.S. war effort, and who just happened to be a former member of the SDS and a member of the Committees of Correspondence for Democracy and Socialism, which just happened to sponsor a 2002 anti-war rally at which Obama spoke, and which just happened to have been organized by Marilyn Katz, a former SDS activist and later public relations consultant, who just happened to be a longtime friend of Obama's political hatchet man, David Axelrod. In Chicago, Obama joined Trinity United Church of Christ, whose pastor was Reverend Jeremiah Wright, a fiery orator who just happened to preach Marxism and black liberation theology, and who delivered anti-white, anti-Jew, and anti-American sermons, which Obama just happened never to hear because he just happened to miss church only on those days when Wright was at his most enthusiastic. And Obama just happened never to notice that Oprah Winfrey left the same church because it was too radical, and just happened never to notice that the church gave the vile anti-Semitic Nation of Islam leader, Louis Farrakhan, a Lifetime Achievement Award. Although no one had ever heard of him at the time, Obama just happened to receive an impossible to believe $125,000 advance to write a book about race relations, which he just happened to fail to write while using the cash to vacation in Bali with his wife, Michelle. And despite his record of non-writing, he just happened to receive a second advance for $40,000 from another publisher, and he eventually completed a manuscript called Dreams from My Father, which just happened to strongly reflect the writing style of William Ayers, who just happened to trample on an American flag by the cover photograph of the popular Chicago magazine, which Obama just happened never to see, even though it appeared on newsstands throughout the city. Obama was hired by the law firm Minor, Banhill, and Gallon, which just happened to specialize in negotiating state government contracts to develop low-income housing, and which just happened to deal with now-imprisoned Tony Resco and his firm Rezar, and with slumlord Valerie Jarrett. And the law firm's Judson Minor just happened to have been a classmate of Bernadine Dorn, wife of William Ayers. In 1994, Obama represented Acorn and another plaintiff, in a lawsuit against Citibank for denying mortgages to blacks. And the lawsuit just happened to result in banks being blackmailed into approving subprime loans or poor credit risks, a trend which just happened to spread nationwide and which just happened to lead to the collapse of the housing bubble, which just happened to help Obama defeat John McCain in the 2008 presidential election. In 1996, Obama ran for the Illinois State Senate and joined the New Party, which just happened to promote Marxism, and Obama was supported by Dr. Quentin Young, a socialist who just happened to support a government takeover of the nation's health care system. In late 1999, Obama purportedly engaged in homosexual activities and cocaine snorting in the back of a limousine with a man named Larry Sinclair, who claims he was contacted in late 2007 by Donald Young, who just happened to be the gay choir director of Obama's church, and who shared information with Sinclair about Obama. And Young just happened to be murdered on December 23rd, 2007, just weeks after Larry Bland, another gay member of the church, just happened to be murdered. And both murders just happened to have never been solved. In 2008, Sinclair held a press conference to discuss his claims and just happened to be arrested immediately after the event based on a warrant issued by Delaware Attorney General Bo Biden, who just happened to be the son of Joe Biden. In 2003, Obama and his wife attended a dinner in honor of Rashid Khalidi, who just happened to be a former PLO operative, harsh critic of Israel, and advocate of Palestinian rights, and who Obama claims he does not know, even though the Obamas just happen to have dined more than once at the home of Khalidi and his wife Mona, and just happen to have used them as occasional babysitters. Obama reportedly praised Khalidi at the decidedly anti-Semitic event, which William Ayers just happened to also attend, and the event Obama pretends he never attended was sponsored by the Arab American Action Network, to which Obama just happened to have bundled cash while serving on the board of the Woods Fund with William Ayers. And one speaker at the dinner remarked that if Palestinians cannot secure a return of what they consider their land, Israel will never see a day of peace. Entertainment at the dinner included a Muslim children's dance troupe whose performances just happened to include simulated beheadings with fake swords and stomping on American, Israeli, and British flags. And Obama allegedly told the audience that Israel has no God-given right to occupy Palestine, and there has been genocide against the Palestinian people by Israelis. 
in the Los Angeles Times as a videotape of the event, but just happens to refuse to make it public. In the 2004 Illinois Democrat primary race for the U.S. Senate, frontrunner Blair Hull just happened to be forced out of the race after David Axelrod just happened to manage to get Hull's sealed divorce records unsealed, which just happened to enable Obama to win the primary so he could face popular Republican Jack Ryan, who sealed child custody records from his divorce, also just happened to become unsealed, forcing Ryan to withdraw from the race, which just happened to enable the unqualified Obama to waltz into the U.S. Senate, where after a mere 143 days of alleged work, he just happened to decide he was qualified to run for president of the United States. Obama just happened to obtain a $1.32 million mortgage for his mansion, even though the payments of $8,000 per month, not counting property taxes, exceeded 50% of his $162,000 U.S. Senate salary income. And even though Michelle Obama was claiming that she and her husband were still paying off substantial student loans and were struggling to pay for piano lessons for their daughters. Obama just happened to obtain his mansion mortgage from the Northern Trust Bank, whose board of directors just happened to include Susan Crown, who just happened to be part of the wealthy Crown family, which just happened to donate to Obama's campaigns, and which just happened to have ownership in defense contractor General Dynamics Corporation. And the Crown family just happened to sit on the board of energy company Exelon, formerly known as Commonwealth Edison, which just happened to have had Thomas Ayers as its CEO. And the Crown family also owned the Maytag Appliance Company, which just happened to move its operations to Mexico after its employees just happened to donate to Obama's campaign after he just happened to pledge that he would keep their jobs in Galesburg, Illinois. In June 2005, just months after Obama became a U.S. Senator, Michelle Obama just happened to be named a non-executive director of the Board of Treehouse Foods, a Walmart supplier, for a salary of $51,000 in 2005 and $101,000 in 2006, and she just happened to be given 7,500 treehouse stock options worth about $72,000, even though she just happened to know nothing about the private sector and running a business. In 2006, Obama pushed for a $1 million earmark for the University of Chicago, and his wife Michelle just happened to then be promoted to Vice President of Community and External Affairs for the hospitals, with a salary increase from $121,000 to $316,000. And she just happened to receive public relations help from Obama's political strategist, David Axelrod, whose mother just happened to have written for a communist newspaper. In 2006, Sarah P. Hurley, an associate of the Chicago law firm Kirkland and Ellis, whose employees later contributed $87,000 to Obama's presidential campaign, and whose partner, Bruce Edelson, just happened to be a member of Obama's campaign finance committee, just happened to write a paper calling for the elimination of the natural born citizen requirement in the U.S. Constitution. Obama just happened to visit Kenya in 2006 to support his reported cousin, Rewa Odinga, a Muslim socialist candidate for president, who just happened to have ties to both Al-Qaeda and Libya's Muammar Gaddafi, and who just happened to have been educated in communist East Germany, and who just happened to name his son Fidel, and who just happened to plan on establishing Sharia law in Kenya, and whose activities prompted the Kenyan government to lodge an official protest of Obama's passport abuse and misconduct. And Obama's actions just happened to have been denounced by the U.S. State Department as being in direct opposition to U.S. national security. And after Odinga, for whom Obama just happened to have raised $950,000, lost his election, his Muslim followers just happened to burn Christian women and children alive in a church where they had sought refuge. In 2006, Obama endorsed Alexei Giannoulias in his race for Illinois State Treasurer and stated that he is one of the most outstanding young men I could ever hope to meet. Even though Giannoulias just happened to be only 29 years old, and even though his family's Broadway bank just happened to finance Chicago crime figures like Michael Jaws Girango, a Chicago thug with convictions for bookmaking and promoting prostitution, and even though virtually all of Chicago's Democrat politicians were keeping their distance from Giannoulias, whose reputation was so questionable he even failed to get the endorsement of the Chicago Democrat Party, which just happens to almost 
never be concerned about questionable reputations. Obama's mother, Stanley Ann Dunham, once worked for the Ford Foundation's Asia program, which just happened to be run by Peter Geithner, who just happened to be the father of Timothy Geithner, who just happened for several years to neglect to pay social security taxes on much of his income, which just happened to somehow qualify him to be Obama's treasury secretary. During the 2008 campaign, Obama's passport records just happened to have been illegally searched by an employee of a firm headed by John Brennan and LT Quarles Harris Jr., who was cooperating with federal investigators in connection with the incident, just happened to be found with a bullet in his head and the murder just happened never to be solved. And Obama later just happened to make Brennan his terrorism and intelligence advisor and then his CIA director. On election night in 2008 in Chicago's Grant Park, Obama just happened to wear a black suit and a red tie, and his older daughter just happened to wear a red dress, and his younger daughter just happened to wear a stark black dress, and his wife Michelle just happened to wear an arguably unattractive black dress that appeared to have a giant red X design, which just happened to prompt some to wonder if their clothing just happened to denote black power, communism, and Malcolm X. And at the very least, prompted others to wonder why anyone would have his daughter wear a jet black dress for a celebratory occasion, or where one could even just happen to find a store that sells black dresses for little girls. From election night forward, there have been hundreds of other just happens, not the least of which is the long form birth certificate released by Obama in April 2011, which just happened to consist of multiple image layers, including various objects which can be separated and rotated with computer software which just happens to be impossible if a birth certificate is merely scanned and not computer constructed by a forger. Oh, and Obama just happened to have used more than one social security number over the years, and one of them is associated with the Hart Senate office building, it starts with the digits 282, which signifies issuance in Ohio, a state in which Obama just happened to have never lived or worked. And another social security number used by Obama starts with 042, which signifies Connecticut, another state in which Obama just happened to have never lived or worked. And it just happened that no one in the mainstream media has ever bothered to ask Obama why he has used multiple social security numbers or why the 042 number comes up as invalid in the E-Verify system used by employers to confirm whether immigrant job applicants have valid numbers. I could go on, but you get the idea.